Hi, welcome to Studio MDAZ. I'm Debbie, and I'm excited to tell you that today we are going to make one of these. And this is one that my mom and I made this week. It's all vintage, um, well, not all vintage, but a lot of vintage bulbs and all kinds of stuff on it. They are so fun to make, they're time consuming, but they're extremely relaxing to do. It's something you can do while you're watching TV. So today we're going to take this concept and we're going to do it with a Hanukkah wreath and we're gonna use the Hanukkah colors. So um, I wanted you to see that you can do it either way, but how awesome is this gonna be and how pretty? And you can apply what we're gonna to teach today with any color bulbs. So stay tuned, I hope you're gonna to enjoy today and let's get started. Hi everybody, hi, welcome. Oh, thank you, Allison, hi, hi, hi. Um, hi, Jody. now I am here, hi Karen, I'm here by myself today. My mom had to take Bob to a doctor appointment. So it's just you and I today. And so I guess we can tell secrets here because it's just, a, you know, it's just the two of us. Uh, hi, Patricia. Hi, Sharon Butler. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, unfortunately, mom's not here today, you guys. But sometimes we let her have a day off. Hi, Lynn. Uh, Y'all, last night we did our... Um, Nutcracker class. Uh, hi, Golda. We did our Nutcracker class, and so if you didn't sign up for our class, maybe you'll want to sign up for the next one because we took just a plain Nutcracker, just a, the kind you find in the store, and we turned him into this in our class last night. So everything you learned or they learned last night in class can be applied to everything because they learn how to do checks and stripes and do shading with different colors. So anyway, yesterday was that, but I have to show you, I'm still working on her, but look, it's his bearded wife. Isn't she darling? So I got her at a thrift store. Everybody wants her, but um, nobody can find her. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. So let's get started. And let me tell you, I had to, I look, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Bill and I are going out to dinner finally. We have, uh, we haven't been out to dinner since our wedding night. And so we're gonna go out to dinner tonight. So I thought I better, you know, jazz myself up a tiny bit anyway. Uh, okay, so here's where you're gonna start. And the reason I had to start is, you guys, these take a long time. So I had to get this started for you so that we weren't here till tomorrow morning. You know, I got stuff. Thank you, I, it's a cabbie jacket. Um, I've got an apron on because there's so much glitter on these. If I can give any recommendation, hi Sandy, hi Brenda, if I can give any recommendation, forget the glitter and just use uh, regular bulbs. They look just as pretty. I, let's see, on this one, I did not use any glitter, very little, and so I loved it. And look, I found this vintage lettering that says Mary, and um, so I really love this one. But this one took my mom, she started it, it took her about two and a half or maybe more hours, hours. And so I started this at noon my time today. It's two o'clock now. So I've been working on it for two hours and this is how far I got. So now you see why I had to start it. So, hi everybody. I'm gonna miss a lot of your comments today and I'm sorry. I always go back and kind of zip through them at the end and see if there's questions or things that you guys needed that I didn't respond to. Um, but, Thank you so much for being here and just know that um, I will try and catch as many. You have the same one, Pam? It's a cabbie. And I tell you guys, I'm. this is like five seasons ago, cabbie. It was a long time ago. So, um, but I don't care. I mean, who cares? I still love it and I've been wearing it for probably four years and it's still in great shape and I love it. So who cares? Um, okay, how's Kathy's dad, Lenora? All I have heard is Latanya, I'll answer that in a second. All I've heard is that it ended up being the flu, which is still serious because he's already, um, he's got Parkinson's, so it's already, in, you know, 
already an issue and he was having a hard time walking and they didn't know what was going on. So he is in the hospital. It was the flu and hopefully they'll get to send him home. But I know Kathy was super relieved as we all were. And thank you so much, all of you guys. Um, there were so many people praying for him and it's a testament to how much everybody loves Kathy and how much we all know how important it is. So anyway, here's what I started with. This is a 10 inch, I believe. Let me just double check. No, this is a 12 inch. This is a 12 inch ring and it's just a wreath ring. So I started with that and then I went on Amazon and bought one of these big boxes of ornaments. Well, I got it home and I thought that doesn't look like enough. So I had to go buy another one. So I can tell you that if you have a ton of old ornaments, this is the this is the project for you for sure because look at how stinking adorable something like this would be with the little red white polka dot green white and red that would be a gorgeous wreath so you've got so many options and you need all different sizes and all different textures let me get this little nutcracker out of here so i don't hurt him okay all different styles, all different textures, um, and you want some different colors. So here's what takes so long. You've got to grab, so what I do is I grab and I put all the ornaments that I, that I think I want to use in a basket, like this, in a little bucket so I can see them better. <clears throat> and you can see I've got all different types of stuff in here different colors and different stuff. Well, I really wanted to do something special for Hanukkah. And um, we haven't done a Hanukkah project. I don't know if we've ever done one. We, we always mean to, but I don't know that we've ever done one. So I thought today, this is perfect. This can be a Hanukkah project or this can be an any day project for you guys. Oh, thank you so much. Dehydration, yeah. Um, Sandy, it should be there. Okay, these I just found in my stash, and I love these, and these are gonna be adorable, just stuck in, maybe. They're a little big. So here's what you gotta do. You grab, these are your big ones that you're gonna grab first. You're gonna take your big, your biggest ornaments and get them as your base. So you can see, that's what I've done. I've gotten my big ornaments wired on to start my base. So I'm just going through here. We've also found, if you're careful, you don't have to glue these down. Sometimes they'll pop off, but no big deal when they do. The other thing I have found is that when you're using a wreath like this, you cannot use this last rung. The reason being, not for um, doing the wiring anyway, it'll just flop all over the place. So until you glue it to the other ones, it's going to just be floppy and it's not gonna look that great. So we have bypassed that last rung and you can see then all I do is I just bring it in. Do you guys want me to bring you up a little bit? I feel like we are right in the middle of comments. So let me see if I can bring you up a little bit. It might help. Good grief. This is a 24 inch Lazy Susan. It's ridiculous. Well, maybe that'll help a little bit. What do you guys think? Okay, so you're gonna get them wired on and then you're gonna position. And once you position, then you're going to just give it a little shot of glue to hold it in place. We did not do that at first and that was a big mistake that we had made by just trying to wire everything and not having everything glued and wired because it was falling off. So as long as you glue and wire, you're good. But, um, so you can see, each one, so it's like, I don't know, 20 seconds each one, something like that. So it, it does take a minute. And I'm using super thin wire. It's, I think it's, um, I wanna say it's probably 18 or 20 gauge. So it's, um, it's pretty small. No telegrams? Somebody said that the other day that they didn't get a telegram and I have no idea. I mean, you guys know we have no control over that. We set it up the beginning of the week and just pray that, you know, they go out. Um, oh shoot, you guys, I'm so sorry about that. Again, there's nothing I can do about it, but um, we can sure, I will let Callie know and have her kinda, you know, see if she can talk to somebody. 
you know, Mr. Facebook or something. I don't know. Uh, you same concept on a styrofoam wreath. Yes, you can. Um, my mom and I even thought even to make a, to make like a cardboard wreath would uh, like ring would probably be easier than this. But I did like the looks of this. And when we've tried other things, I haven't liked the looks as much. So um, this is what I do. I just wire it on and then glue. But all the fun starts when you start layering, and that's our next thing. You usually get a telegram. Oh, I, you guys, I have no idea. All right, you're here, Debbie Stewart, I'm glad. Uh, hi, Dot, you got a notice on Facebook about 10 minutes ago. Gosh, I don't know what's going on. You know, it's real life over here, you guys, real life. So you can see, I'm using different colors, different textures, but they all came out of the same um, bucket, I got, I just got the darker colors. Also, I have the lighter colors. I'm sorry you guys didn't get one. We will address that, so um, no worries. We'll address the Telegram issue. Hopefully everybody is signed up for Telegrams. All right, so this is the part that takes the longest, is just getting your wire in. Once we get past this, um, thank you. Oh, those, these are the colors you're doing too? Awesome. My mom was telling me that when we were younger, she used to have all blue lights on our tree, and I don't remember that. So, um, but I do love these colors a lot. Okay, so you see, I wired it, push it over. This is the longest part. When we start embellishing, it goes super fast, because then we can do this together. Um, I'm so glad we're doing Hanukkah then. I know a lot of people have said, we would really like to see more Hanukkah by the crafters. And um, I, I guess a lot of people just weren't doing it. Uh, if you guys aren't getting my text messages or my, um, we do email, we send out emails and we also do um, uh, don't we do text messages also, I think. Text or, I don't know you guys. We do something, but I always post a calendar. Every week we have a calendar post if I schedule for the week. Hi, Trina. Uh, we always have it posted at the beginning of the week. Monday morning, Callie puts it up and it gives you everything I'm doing for that week and wherever I'm gonna be every day. So, oh my gosh, for those of you that were at the class last night, we had such a great time. My mom was a riot. She was, uh, she was on a good one. I don't know what it was. Uh, the Millennium, and, oh yeah, hi Mayor. So, um, yeah, I, I just have, would have not thought on my own to do these colors. Um, and I did look up, uh, the you know, to, to try and find the exact colors. And some people um, said the color is more of this teal and white. Like some pictures that I looked at were the teal and the white and the silver. And then other ones were the dark. And so the dark is what I was more familiar with and it's what my mom was more familiar with too. Um, okay, and now when I'm in here, now I'm going, I'm just using like different rungs to wire, if that makes sense. I'm just using a couple different ones to wire these on. Come on. So, yeah, you see. This is the hard part, but I've only got a couple more to do and then we'll get over this. Yeah, I did not enjoy, um, well, I enjoyed once I got some of them down. Oh my gosh, Charlotte, my mom was a riot last night. And if you missed it, at the very end of class, we, my mom and I did the 12 days of Christmas in person. And I didn't know that she was gonna like reenact the whole thing and she did. And it just totally cracked me up because I wasn't expecting it. Okay, here we go. So when you get close like this, I know a lot of you guys have made these, and um, honestly, I had never made one before, so I was thrilled. Thank you, I do like these colors too. I saw somebody ask, um, yeah, when you get in here and you're trying to like work around all these, it's, you gotta get really in there. Um, yes, if you signed up for the class and paid for it, or if you're in my membership group, you get that class, and it's on Check Savvy Live, you just have to go there. Ask to join if you haven't already, and you can watch the replay 
So even if you missed our class last night, you've got access to the replay um, probably for most of the month, I think the rest of the month. Uh, she is dot. It, it was funny, and I was. She had to drive home last night after class. I was. I was not. I was not happy about that. But okay, let's just get a couple more in here. This needs a silver, and you can see plain as day what it needs as you're going around. Um, I had some more wires up here. Let's see. Did I? Yeah. But I've got all kinds of stuff. Some of them I saw with tinsel, some with some bling, major bling. Um, but I've got some really pretty acrylic snowflakes that I thought would be beautiful with this. If somebody knows why the colors are blue, let us know. I, I know that there is a story and I ran out of time to try and Google it and find out what is um, what's the significance about the blue? Um, Cause I know the like the purple is royal royalty also, but maybe blue is too. So somebody tell me why and um, how that came about with the Hanukkah colors. You love the 12, uh, Michelle, thank you. Hi Michelle, how are you? Um, yeah, it was the it was moment I had fun. So you guys, tomorrow starts our 25 days of Christmas and I will be, um, I will be posting on studio every single day until Christmas. And uh, the Israeli flag is blue and white. There you go. It was that simple. It was obviously that simple. Thank you, Debbie. Um, good to know. Now everybody, probably, I'm probably the only person in the whole world that didn't realize that. Uh, thanks so much for being here, you guys. It's always fun to have you here. It's always more fun when my mom's here and she can catch everything. But, all right, we have finally got everything. We've got our base ready. And now we can start adding, and this is where the fun begins. But I wish I'd started this last night after, I would have rather done it last night. The blue fringe on the Jewish shawl uh, mentioned throughout the Torah. Oh, yeah, to do with the House of David back in Bible times. Um, and I'm just double checking to make sure everything's down. It seems to be down pretty good. Okay, so I have a focal point for this, just like I did with this one. I wanted to have a focal point, and in this case, I used this big ornament that I got. And by the way, this whole um, wreath, I got all the ornaments on uh, at Goodwill. I, there was like six boxes of them that somebody had left, and they all went, they were all separate too, and they all went together. I was so happy. Uh, hi, Viv. Hi, Nina. I know, we, we all miss mom. That's, uh, we gotta give her a day off once in a while. Anyway, here's what I've got. Here's my focal point for this one. I want you to see this. This is a gorgeous, it's a snowflake, but I also went on Amazon and bought this really pretty Star of David. And so I'm gonna put the Star of David right in the center of that snowflake. So I hope that's copacetic. I hope that's okay. Um, I'm not Jewish and I don't really know a lot of the Jewish traditions. I need to learn more. I did, um, one of my daughter's friends had a Shabbat and invited us and we went and it was fascinating to me. Hello, Australia, welcome. Glad you're here, it's morning in Australia. Okay, good, I think that's really pretty too. Yeah, the colors of the flag. Um, hi, Linda, unfortunately, mom's not here today. So, let's get our clippers and clip this off. And then I wanna get this laid down. Let's see if I can get this off. Wire cutters, thank you for sprinkling, you guys. Oh, I would love it if you would sprinkle, because especially since there are so few crafters that do anything for Hanukkah that um, I think a lot of people would enjoy seeing this if they haven't, you know, already made one. Good grief, this thing's made really well, I'll tell you that, and I got it on Amazon. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this down. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, look, I have a whole new scene back here too. All right, what do you guys think? I think that looks really, I think it's pretty. I think, I think it's gonna work. 
All right, let's do it. Let's just do it. And the reason I want to lay it down first is because I don't want uh, my ornaments to cover it up. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and do. Hi, Darlene. I'm going to go ahead and get this down. I'm sure my mom's shaking her head right now like you've missed 8,000 comments. But, I mean, a girl can only do what a girl can do. I still don't know how all the other crafters are so good at it. Oh, yeah, I like that. Um, isn't that pretty? I think that this, um, it's really going to catch the light. So let's find a spot on here. I think right here is where it I can fit it in really, really well. So let's see. It's got wire on it, but it's super thin wire. So I'm going to put a little bit heavier wire on it and then put it on. So tomorrow, 25 days of Christmas. Thank you, Janet. 25 days of Christmas. So I'll, every day, I'm going to give you a little something um, online. And then I will still be here Wednesdays and Fridays doing um, a live. Or we'll be doing something. You didn't get Telegram either, Lynn. I'm so sorry, you guys. I mean, what's, what are you going to do? You guys, at least you're here. I appreciate it. Um... And I think you're gonna really enjoy it. I've done it every year. This is now the third year. Ah, oh, that didn't stick. All right, let's try it again. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Lori. Um, let's try it again. You know, metal is so funny. I might have to use my other stuff. Thank you so much for sprinkling, you guys. I'm serious, like that is everything for us when you all do that. It just means everything. I could get, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna get this in first and then I'm gonna add. Uh, Bubby, yes, Bubby is a Jewish term. That's why I was so shocked when that's what my grandkids started calling me because I was like, where in the world did they hear that? Um, we're not Jewish, so, but I know it's why because the second my grandson was born, I just fell in love with him. I mean, you know how it is, you guys, as a grandma. I instantly loved him as much as I love my own kids. It's, it is the craziest thing. And um, so I just, I don't know, he came out and I was just like, oh my gosh, hi, Bubby. And um, it stuck, it stuck with him. I've always called him Bubby. And then he started calling me Bubby. And I was like, oh gosh, I, that's not what I meant. I meant like, you know, I didn't want to be like glamour or anything, but I wanted to be maybe Dee Dee or something like that. And no. You let them pick the name and they go with it. Yeah, they all call me Bubby, all of them. Yeah, it, it stuck. And the first one always determines what the rest are gonna call you. Okay, so I'm going to, let's see, I want that there and I'm going to glue it in place. Right now I've just wired it. Let me get this around here. So you see, I mean, these are, they're not hard, you guys, but they are just a little tricky. That's all. Okay, let's try it again. One more time. I think I might need a heavier wire. Let's see, we're gonna try it again. I wasn't expecting this to be the hard part. I was expecting all the rest of it. Um, but I am so glad that my mom was here yesterday and, um, or Monday, I think, and started this, started the other one for me. I know you guys, it's every day I spill, I drop, I do everything. You're a nanny, that's Italian. Yeah, my stepmother is nanny to all of her kids. Um, does anybody else have something really interesting, an interesting name as, as, as that your kids call you? One of my dearest friends, um, her grandkids just started calling her Gary. She has no idea why, there's no other Gary in the family, but they just started calling her Gary and to this day, well, she's passed away, but to, till the day she died, she was Gary to everybody, including me. We all called her Gary. Um, honey, you're a Mimi. I, yeah, Mimi's a good one. I like Mimi. Thank you for the stars, you guys. Thank you so much. Let me get this. Guys, this is like, all right. Plus, I'm trying to get in here. Yeah, yeah, that's, what, that's a good one. Um, had you, had we done this together from scratch, or had I done it? I would have wired the star first because now my little fingers, my fat fingers are trying to get in there. Mama C, your May May. Oh, Mary, that's a cute one. 
You're Leela. See, everybody's got cute names. My sister-in-law is Coco. So cute. Her name is Kelly, and she's Coco. Uh, Marcia DeGrail, you're a Nani or a Gigi. All right, let's see if this is going to stick this time. I think it might. I just want to double check so it doesn't fall off on me again. Um, your son calls you Mama. Mama? My mom is my mom. Okay. For crying out loud, you guys, I'm not even kidding. It's just to try and get in here with my little fingers. This is, um, but I'll get it. Even if it kills me, and it might, but I will get it. Uh, peekaboo, Grammy, because you taught her peekaboo. That's cute. Your grandma was Coco. Oh, I, I really wanted to be Coco. I love that one. Uh... Go Gaji? How do you say that? Goji? That's cute. Um, in the beginning, they called you Mima. Yes, I love that too. My girlfriend, Robin, she's Lolly, and her husband is Pops. That's what the kids call them. And I was like, how'd they get that so cute? And I've got Bubby. Um, okay, guys, I know it took like an hour and a half, but it's finally on there. Uh, let's hope it's on there pretty tight. Seems to be pretty good. I'm gonna wire it one more time around. So yeah, uh, learn from my mistakes. Oh, tweezers would have been great, Sandy, like 20 minutes ago, sister. Okay, let's see where I want this so that it's gonna lay right. I might have to pop one of those off, let's see. Because I want it to, there we go. Okay, we want it in the background. All right, I'm going to hot glue it now to that to the frame. Hot gluing to the frame, just so we get extra protection on that thing. All right, it's going to look ugly for a second, but that's okay. It'll. We're going to cover it up with all the other ornaments. Where is my mother when I need her? Uh... Okay, that's good. Let's see. You guys probably wanted it down further, didn't you? I can pull it down a little bit. Let's see how far I can get it down. I can get it down a little bit farther. All right, I'm gonna do the Star David last, okay? Uh, Grandma Jan, uh, the star is gonna be a little high, but I'm gonna bring it down. Before the end of this, I'm so afraid that if I try and bring it down Right now, actually, no, I like it right there. That's where I want it, right there, because this is gonna get built up. All right, guys, oh my God, I'm sweating, sweating. <sighs> I know, we need mom. This I found at Goodwill, and I thought this was gonna be my center point, but the more I looked at the Hanukkah stuff, everything was, hi, Lisa, hi, Barbara, everything was, um, Silver, not gold. There was very little gold. Okay, let's keep going. Now we're gonna start where we don't have to wire anymore. Thank God, that is the that was the worst part. And now we're just going to start building up our wreath. And uh, I absolutely love doing this part. Your grandkids call you Jen Jen. That's cute. I, I would I could go for that. But I know Bubby is a term of endearment, and um, you know, for that, hi Maria, for that, I'm I'm grateful. Um, are my shoes in a Dillard's? <laughs> Deb Brown, Art and Grace. Um, you know, I do have uh, a number of incredible Goodwills here. Um, I live in Scottsdale, Arizona, and people here for some reason seem to just want to get rid of their stuff all the time, and so I do get a lot of great stuff. It is funny when you walk in there. Most of the people are taking stuff and donating and I'm walking out with like a complete uh, truck full of stuff. I love the building up. I just think that is so cool. And I wouldn't have thought that some of these colors would work together, but they do. And um, like I said, when I was looking at colors, Honestly, the, this teal was a little bit more prevalent than the navy, but I was more familiar with the navy. Now your gram, oh good, that's a good one. 
Okay, let's get some little ones. That's what we're needing now. Let's get some little bitty ones wherever we, we can. So look, like right there, you, you can see that one needs a little one. Oops. And I'm gonna put my gloves on. I just realized one of you guys is gonna yell at me in a minute. So let me get my gloves on. Um, for something like this, when you're doing this much gluing, yeah, grab your gloves. These are the silicone gloves from, uh, well, they're only silicone on the end. I don't know that I recommend these. I got them at Amazon. Um, they're hard to work with. And the reason why I um, use these instead of the finger protectors is because if I put on finger protectors, I, I put them on the wrong finger. Like I put them on the right fingers, but then I tend to use the other fingers instead. I don't know why you guys, I just, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Let's see. So being, um, having all different sizes is what's critical, but I do think that the patterns is just a cr as critical. Uh, it's not showing up teal, showing up baby blue. Oh, interesting. Yes, oh my gosh, deep purples. A solid color. I haven't done a solid color one. Has anybody else? Because I think a solid color um, wreath would be so pretty too. Just one color, maybe some different movement of it. And it's just all about your placement. Yeah, I'm glad I have these on. Uh, hi, Lori. Thank you. Um, okay, so what you're gonna get with my uh, 25 days of Christmas, every day you're gonna get a joke, you're gonna get a recipe, uh, you're gonna get, uh, let's see, what else are you gonna get? You're gonna get um, some inspirations, like some inspirational pictures, you're going to get some gift ideas, some DIY gift ideas, and um, what was the other thing? I think it's a quote, but it, we did it last year. And um, I'm telling you, it's just, it's just a fun way to keep in touch every single day. And uh, my mom is gonna come on and uh, do something and my daughter will come on and do something also. So that'll be fun. You guys haven't um, had my mom. Yes, one color different finishes would be beautiful. Um, I think most of you have not seen my daughter do anything yet because she's uh, usually in our membership group. Uh, but in our membership group, I'm going to, <laughs> I always look ready for a party. I am, I'm always ready for a party. Uh, Poppy, yes, my ex-mother-in-law were uh, Grandy and Poppy. Okay, let's see. It doesn't really need a, a ton, but now I like, I really love getting the little bitty ones on. So you see, once you get past that awful part of having to wire everything on, I'm wondering if, because mom was saying, if we had like a cardboard wreath, if it would be so much easier. I don't know. Um, thank you, Linda. Yeah, I've, I've always done it in our, sis, in our Check Savvy Sisters group. But um, this year we decided to ch change it up a little bit. And I will be going live every single day in my membership group with a, a new fun project every day. So it's gonna be a busy month for me. Um, Susie Q, I'm glad you caught me too. Hi friend. You've been Grammy for 35 years, I love that. All right, let's see. Um, a couple more. I know this isn't very exciting, you guys, but um, I think once you try it yourself, you're going to love it. Aw. Thank you, Lynn. What a sweet thing to say. Uh, now sturdy enough for the weight. Okay, so what you're saying is the cardboard, no. Wrap it with tinsel. I did grab some tinsel. Um, I did. So you're saying you wrapped each one with tinsel? Because that's a great idea. I wish I'd had that idea before now. Um, wrapped it with the tinsel. I assume that's what you're saying. Because I think that's a fabulous idea. Instead of wire, use the tinsel. 
because that's why I saw this, the other one I saw, the tinsel was showing and I thought, why do they have tinsel in there? Hi, Armida, is it Armida? Uh, you love it, it's adorable, thank you. Okay, so maybe I got crazy on these. I don't really care for these on it. Um, it they don't make sense because they kind of look, they're gonna just kind of stick up like that. Um, and I don't think that's the look we're going for. So uh, I'm gonna bypass those and just keep getting in our little ones. All right, let's see where we're at right now. I know you guys are saying you want that lower. We might have to put that lower. We'll do that at the end, I promise. Um, but how fun is that? Just, I don't know. I, to me, it just screams festive and fun and, um, you know, Something different, something I've never done, and I love doing stuff I've never done before. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Andrea. Okay. Are you guys all in the uh, mode that I'm like starting where every weekend now there's something going on? You don't have anything going on like all year, and suddenly now one weekend you've got everything going on constantly. I feel like that's where I'm at right now with my little life. But it took us, it took us a long time to get over COVID. I would say I had it for at least 10 or more days. It was a long one. Hi, Mary White. Uh, okay, so get above it, get on top of it so you can really see what you've got. I think it needs more of the blue, a couple more of the blue, and then we're gonna put some snowflakes on it too. That's why I hate the gloves. The gloves hold the glue, and so then you have to really wipe your gloves. Um, you've gotta really wipe these gloves off. I don't know, it's kind of a pain. Uh, there is a new strand. What's the new one? This last one was just all upper. Thank God it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like stomach or anything because if you know me, you know that um, I can handle just about anything in the whole world except stomach stuff. It is, uh, I, I become about six years old and I cry and <laughs> I really do. My mom can attest. Hi, Kristen, happy birthday. Was it yesterday, I think? I saw it and I didn't get a chance to tell you happy birthday, so. There you go, you just got a big shout out. Happy birthday, friend. Uh, all kinds of letters in the name. Who, does Rhonda have? Oh, Rhonda, you've got it. Yeah, it's it, it went all over really fast here. I really thought we were kind of done with it. All right, guys, I just need a couple more just to do some fill-ins, and then I promise we will move on. Uh, I know, Nancy, no, I can handle anything, but uh, but not that, I, I really can't, except the day I did get sick online. <laughs> well, if you guys were watching, I yeah, I had a bad day online and was sick and I was supposed to be helping Kathy from Royal Funky Junk and I had already been sick that morning, but I wanted to help her out and, uh, oh, Chris, I'm addicted to that stuff, are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I, I tried, I, I was on, I did it for about 10 minutes and then all of a sudden you can see me, it's on here somewhere. You can see me start sweating and I'm swallowing a lot. And then all of a sudden, um, I was like, gotta go. Bye. And, uh, yeah, that was the worst. Okay. So. I think I'm good with the ornaments. Now let's do some more embellishment. Oh, come on, you guys, it's really pretty. <laughs> Even if I do say so myself. Uh, I know you want that lower, I do too. So, um, you have COVID and your husband does too, Eileen. Oh my gosh. All right, let's try this one more time and get it lower. You remember that one, Brenda? Oh my gosh, I was devastated. 
And of course my mom called and she's like, do you want me to come over? And I was like, no, I'll be fine, mom. In my heart, I like, I don't know. But sometimes I just, uh, I just want to um, be alone. When I'm sick like that, I want everybody to feel sorry for me, but I, I probably just like to be alone when I'm that sick. Okay, let's try it again and bring it lower. And I think everybody's gonna be happy if I can do that. Thank you. Yeah, it, I really like it. If you guys missed the beginning, um, look at this one. This is our vintage one. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, there's so much you can do. And I really do like the ones that have the shiny bulbs on them. Um, I think the shiny bulbs really bring everything out. All right, I gotta get these off because I can't, Lord knows, I can't do a thing with these on. All right, let me stand up too. Um, the top needs a few by the blue and white. Okay, when we get it back, um, when I get it back turned around, we will make that decision. Luckily, I know where it's gonna go. So much easier doing it from the back. I don't know why none of you instructed me that way. Probably thinking because you're the stinking crafter. We're here watching you. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Roberta. Okay, uh, where's my big... Uh, Okay, I know you guys see it. Isn't that funny? Every time. All right, help me out. Help a sister out. Where did it go? Where did our big snowflake go, you guys? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I just had it. Where is it? Uh... <laughs> Why is it? I really thought today we were going to get all the way through this live with no problems. I swear to you, I can't see it. All right, let me pick up this whole thing. What in the world? Um, you guys. <laughs> this is the craziest thing ever. Does somebody see it? Because this happened on Char's Art from the Heart once. Uh, hi, Cheryl. Uh, she had it. I could see it right in front of her, but she couldn't find it. By my hand? Hold on. By my hand. Which hand? I swear to you, it's not under there. Um, right there next to your hand. <laughs> right there by my hand. Is it under? Oh my God, I know I'm gonna be mortified when I find it, you guys, and you're gonna be like, God, she is a moron. I have a little one, but I'm looking for the big one. Oh my God. Okay, let's all just pretend like that didn't happen. What happens at Studio DAZ stays here, and we're all gonna keep this to ourselves. <laughs> we're never gonna speak of this again. Oh my gosh, I, I cannot believe that just happened. If it were a snake, for reals, for reals, for reals. Oh my gosh, my mom is dying right now. She's like, yeah, I can never leave her alone again. This is it. I'm telling you, mom, you know better. If there's a way for me to screw something up, I'm going to. Okay, now I wanna make sure we get it right this time. Oh my gosh, I cannot even believe that happened. Your still, silver star is right at 12 o'clock. Um, I, I, I know I love the vintage one too. Okay, let's talk about this height. Let me wire it and I'm gonna have you look at it and see what you think. Um, I really like the, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, every day, every day. And poor Bill, now that he's living with a girl, I think he realizes it too, and he's probably like, holy crap, what did I do? Um, okay, there we go. Let me cut that, uh, okay. Is that better? Yes, 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 yes. I do like that. Are you guys happy with that, or did I get it too low this time? Um, let's see, if I got it too low, uh, <laughs> I know you're point you guys are pointing. That's a riot. Um, and that's exactly what I did with Char. I was like, it, it's right there. Thank you, Debbie Gross. It was clear and I couldn't see it. Um, okay, am I too low now, you guys? I feel like I might be a little low. Uh, <laughs> oh, that is a riot. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit because if my gut tells it to me, then, no, there's never a dull moment over here, you guys know that. But this, that would have cracked my mom up if she was uh, here also watching that happen, that little action. Um, okay, I'm gonna pull it a little bit tighter. <laughs> you guys, if you can't laugh at yourself, then you have no business walking around this earth, seriously. You've got to laugh at yourself and you've got to be able to laugh with others, which I'm sure is what you all were doing, is laughing with me, not at me. Uh, I used to take myself so seriously. I'm not even kidding. I used to take everything so seriously, um, super self-conscious, insecure. Uh, well, maybe not everything has changed, but you know what I mean? Just always worrying about everything and how I was acting and how my kids were acting and how my grandkids were acting. And now it's almost to a point where you're like, I can't, I don't have time for this nonsense. And I know that I've got to really watch myself. If I'm not careful, I will, um, I will like tell Bill, Hey, you need to do it this way. Hey, you need to do it this way. And of course he says, oh, I wonder how I survived all these years without you. And I go, I don't know. It, it seems crazy to me that you did. But, um, yeah, I have to be really careful that I don't uh, bulldoze over him because I, I, I tend to um, be a little bossy. I know that's a total shock to everybody. Um, ask what was, num oh, hold on, number seven? On the Christmas song, what was number seven? Oh, great question. Number seven was Form Flex. And, see, we needed, we needed something right here. Form Flex is the... Um, it's a clay, like a clay-like compound that I use for, um, instead of like clay, 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 I use form flex. And, um, so that's why that's was a lot of people didn't understand that either. And I always say, whenever I see little balls, I always call them dingle balls. I always have, I don't know why you guys, some weirdo thing I do, but, uh, <laughs> thank you, Charlotte. All right. I need, uh, now that I can see better. Oh yeah. I love that. All right, here I thought, oh, I'll get most of this done. We'll be in and out of here in about 30 minutes. Famous last words every single day. Uh, yeah, Form Flex is what that was. Um, what was the other one? There was something else I feel like that made, oh, the Zen brushes. Maybe some people didn't know that because that's what I use. And same in real life. Oh my gosh, yes, I, I am absolutely... The same in real life, Becky. Totally. My girlfriends will tell you. Yeah. I, I'm, I am extremely clumsy. I am um, I'm pretty much a hot mess most of the time. But that's okay. I need a little one right there. I know. See, we could just go on and on forever with this. So let's, um, let's stop the insanity. Do you guys remember her? Susan Powder stopped the insanity and she had that crazy haircut back in the 80s and we all thought, oh, she's nailed it. No fat. That's what it is. Everybody should give up fat and then you'll be skinny. And then come to find out that that was a big crock and that didn't work either. Um, oh my gosh. But I just remember her. Uh, who said that? Uh, Brenda, yeah, it is true. I am... Um, but I'm actually, you know, here's something that else that's usually surprising to everybody. I am extremely shy at first, and um, I don't really love, like when we had the meet and greet at the Sparkle Retreat, that is not my favorite thing. It was my favorite thing to meet everybody, but it's not my favorite thing to walk into like a room, um, especially by myself, and just to be on, you know, like I, I have a really hard time with that. So, um, and I need one right here. Okay, I, I, prom I promise, that's the last one. This couldn't be any easier though, really. Especially if you're just sitting here hanging out. Um, your friend was a huge powderhead, oh, was she? Oh, that's funny. Uh, Natalie, all right, we'll see, friend. You gotta go. That's okay, we understand. <laughs> I dragged this thing out as much as I possibly could. Uh, Brenda, we did instantly. Thank you, Terry. Okay, okay, okay. So, look, now it's great. Now I like it. And let's get the Star David on. And then 
I've got a few more things to put on it. And, um, all right, let's get the star dated. Uh, surely I've lost that too, you guys. If I didn't have so much crap on my desk, this wouldn't be an issue. All right, well, while I'm searching for the Star of David, and if you guys see that, let me know. Here it is, no, that's the little one. Here it is, here it is, here it is. I found it myself that time, you guys. Um, Rhonda, you don't like that? Like, yeah. I think I've told you guys before, my best friend, Lori, her, when you go around and go, what's your worst fear in life? Hers is cocktail parties. And the second she said it, I was like, oh my gosh, that's me too. I hate that whole walk around and mingle and try and be impressive. Where did I get the ornaments? Um, some of them came from Goodwill, but most of them came from Amazon. They were $19, I believe, for this, either 19 or 29. It, it, was, it was a little pricey. Um, a little hole showing on the small white bulb. Okay, oh, really? Little hole showing on the small white bulb. All right, I'll have to find it. I wish there was a way for you guys to, um, like if we could do pictures back and forth on here, you guys could send me pictures. Like if you're working on something and you go, and I go, oh, let me see it. And you could post the picture. That would be awesome. But we can't, obviously we can't do that. So when I can't find something, you guys could snapshot it and go, it's right there, moron. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, isn't that interesting, Luis? I, yeah. I, yeah, it's just not my thing, you guys. But everybody thinks it's my thing because everybody's like, oh, you're going to love it. And I always think in my head, oh, I'm going to hate it. I'm going to hate it. I know I'm going to hate it. Uh, towards the center, so look from the center out. Okay, uh, I will do that as soon as this dries. Or only if you have some wine to warm up. That is true, too. you got to have some wine. And you have to have somebody walk in with you. Walking in. Hi, Shayna. Frame it and contain it here, you guys. Christy Short. Uh, <laughs> small talk. Yeah, Maria, I am. I really am. I wasn't with you because it was just you and I. But uh, when it's a whole group, yeah, I I pull back. Hold it up and look at the top in the camera. Okay, Brenda, you're so sick. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Uh, right? Is it like right in here? Right there. Um, I see it. Okay, there are a couple holes now. I see. Okay, let's get those done. There's a big one right here. I don't know what I was thinking. I need a silver uh, straight up, okay? Let me get this in here. But yeah, if I had this towards me, I would be obviously seeing, you know, all this stuff. You always have to have someone walk in with you, Debbie Taylor, I know. It, um, but I once I get there and I warm up, then I'm fine. But otherwise, no. Somebody said, do you, do you mind being the center of attention? Well, let's all admit it. No, I don't mind that. <laughs> I don't love it, but I don't mind it. Hi, Renella. Uh, small groups of women, men my age, have nothing to say and can't hear. <laughs> I just read something. Uh, somebody wrote, um, oh, I've been married for 35 years. I thought he came with a hearing. I thought he came with a hearing aid, but he didn't. Uh, it's a hole in the ball. Really? Okay, hold on. Oh, I didn't see that. Let's see. Oh, I see it now. I got it. Yep, thank you. Let's just pull that right off. Thank you, thank you, thank you for seeing that. Um, and it needs a silver there anyway. So I'm glad that happened. Always meant to be. Ha, ah, is everybody still eating turkey or are you over it? Or is it like way past time for turkey? I always like that stuff. I'm so afraid of food and getting sick that um, I'll keep something for like a day or two and then I go, no, I'm out. I can't, I can't do any more days with that. All right, um, it does have a hole right here. If that's what you guys were talking about, you're right on. Nope, that's too big. Let's find, um, might need, I think it needs silver uh, on the top right side. Okay, now you guys are going to start finding all of them. What about this? Oh, yes, I love this one. Okay, here we go. Let's do this one. 
isn't that interesting that this, um, these, some of these colors do, they really do work. I wish I had more of the little ones of this color. That's what I don't have. Um, here, over, over turkey. Um, Nadine, I'm so glad you like it. Yay, yay, yay. It was you and Debbie Gross and some others that when I was wanting to do this were my, um, were my inspiration people for it. This is too big. That's not going to work. Um, do I have any little ones? Let's see. No, unfortunately, what came is the shiny little ones. And wait till you see them. They're not right. They're like, they threw the whole thing off. Look at that. Or I suppose you guys like it. If you do, we'll put a bunch in. Do you like it? Ah, oh, they're kind of, they, it is kind of cute. I mean, it all came together. Uh, you're still eating it. Uh, how long can you eat? Like, my mom will eat it longer than I will, but I, I'm usually, honestly, a couple days. Lunch meat, I'm funny about. Three days max. Uh, chicken pot pie yesterday and thought it would be good leftover turkey too. Hmm. I know, Brenda, everybody was having issues. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, let's get these on. Just a few. I know, I lied and said we were, we were done with this. You like those? Okay, I did too. Um... Boy, I'm telling you though, you gotta have a bunch. Mom thought a week, you'll eat food for a week. Um, well, okay. Oh, I'm loving, love, love, love. It just added that one more dimension that we really needed and I'm super happy with that. Kathleen, you like it too? Yeah, it's just, that's just a fun little color. Super fun. So I hope you guys will make these um, because I, I loved, I do love anything that gives me time to be creative and, you know, I don't have to follow a pattern. I just can do my own thing. I do love being able to do that. Okay, so we got all that on. Now, here is what I'm not going to do, but I saw some other people did it. They had some of the stuff like this, like uh, in a single, let me cut this off. Oh, you guys would crack up if you saw my desk right now. It's no wonder I can find anything. So excited to go to dinner tonight. We're going to a place here in town called Tutti Santi. And it is like old school. They play Frank Sinatra music. And um, it looks like an old, old um, Italian restaurant. And the, you know, it's, it's dark and the booths are red and they're those big round booths. So you, you know, nobody can see you. I just love it. All right. So I saw some people doing this, for instance, it was like, um, I don't know what that is. Just kind of hanging down every once in a while. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't like it. I thought that is not me, but if that's you go for it. But it, it was just kind of weird. It was just sort of hanging there. So I thought, man, I don't want to do that. But I did find these. I took them off of one of my other Santas. These are in the wedding aisle. I buy these all the time. Literally every time I walk down that wedding aisle, I grab a couple more of these. You can't believe all the places I can use stuff like this. But I was thinking because we have the um, snowflake in the middle, these with the acrylic might be really pretty. Just three of them. Let's see if I can get through all this. I think I can. Yep. Okay, let's see. You can't find the ribbon that you use all the time. What is it called? It's the Robert Stanley bling. Um, I don't have any right here. I don't have the package right here. But it's by Robert Stanley. Um, Debbie, you like it as is? Okay, just wait. Just let me, just humor me with this one last thing. Um, all right, let me show you what I'm thinking. So, a couple places we would have this, just for added interest, and I would do like one here, one here, and then maybe one down here. What do you guys think of that? Um, Robert Stanley Bling, it's by the wedding ribbon. It is, it's by the wedding ribbon, but lately it's been in the, um, it's been in my, uh, uh, the sewing department, where the fabric is too. All right, come on guys, let me know what you think. Did we like that or no? 
Uh, I'm seeing some hearts. You like it. Angela likes it. Okay. Um, we probably need to hear from Debbie or Nadine because I don't, I don't want to do anything that would not be right. Uh, you love that, Deborah? Okay. You love the extra crystals, Linda Davis. Okay. Nadine, you like it. Yay. Okay. There, there it was. I needed you or Debbie or someone to acknowledge that. Okay. I'm going to push it down into this other ornament. And um, I think it's just going to give it a little extra sparkle and makes it just a little bit different. Um, you guys are so sweet. Hi, Sandy Lance. Uh, yeah, grab them. I had these sitting in, I have a Santa. Oh, one of the days when I go uh, come here with you guys, one of the days I'm going to take you on a mini tour of my new house and show you um, my Christmas decorations. So we will do that one time. And um, so you'll see, I put these like in my Santa's laps or in their hands and stuff like that. Hi, Micheline. Okay. If you don't have clippers, get them. They're in the um, floral aisle on the end cap, because I know what an end cap is. They're um, on the end cap in floral, right by the styrofoam lace and stuff. And um, they're like, I don't know, $5.99, $6.99, worth every penny. What's the website that sells those? Um, oh, that was from Micheline, okay. Denmark's in the house, hi friend. It reminds you of a winter wonderland, me too. Okay, so I've got one there. Where's our star? Here's our star. And so I think we need one a little bit. Yes, down here. Look at me. I'm not even asking you guys anymore. I'm just going for it now. Um, and Bill is a man of very little change. He doesn't like change. So every time we go, he orders chicken piccata with the... Um, Penne with the same sauce that's on the piccata, extra capers, and we walk in and they go, oh, they, they rattle off our entire order every time we walk in there because we go in there a lot. Love that one. Okay, one more. And then we're gonna call it a day, you guys. Uh, I'm so glad that you guys are happy with this. I think it's important, and I'm, I was really sad last year that I didn't do more of it, and I have another project too. So I'd like to make time to do that. Okay. Uh, I haven't even got my Christmas tree yet. I, I need to go get it. We're gonna go look for one. We tried to look Saturday, but we didn't feel good. So hoping tonight is the night we're gonna go get it. I'm trying to see exactly where this needs to go. Okay, so. If that's there, is this here? Um, is that here? Or is it off to the side? I don't want it to be matchy-matchy. Thank you, Linda. I like how it turned out, too. Don't go yet, because I'm going to show you. Um, hi, Rosetta. I'm going to show you. I kind of like it there. It's a little bit off-center, but it's really close to that other one. Let's see if I do it here. Maybe this is better. Um, what are you guys saying? You're probably saying, all right, let's be done. I responded to you so you'll see the notification. Oh, okay, that was Kelly. Oh my gosh, Lynn Roberts, you are so sweet. I need you to go to the, my next cocktail party with me. <laughs> Off to the side, Nadine says, okay. Off to the side, yeah, uh, but I think it needs to be off to, a, all right, there we go. I like it right here. Am I getting a real tree? Yes, we're getting a, a, a big real tree. That's why we haven't gotten one yet. Um, I've always had like, I don't know, you guys, just six foot trees and fake and um, I never, you know, was never not worried about it because it always looked great in my house. Well, I put one of my six foot Charlie Brown trees in this living room and it looked like it was about this big. So um, yeah, I gotta get a big tree, probably nine. Uh, I have uh, 12 foot ceilings, so I'm gonna have to probably get a nine foot. Um, off to the side, okay, I did. I did it off to the side and are you ready? Ta-da! 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I really love it. I really, really, really love it. So, um, yeah, and I'm glad, I'm, I'm so glad you guys had me move the star down because it's really perfect right there. So, um, because Nadine, you are the one who asked me to do a Hanukkah project a while ago. I just want you to know I am sending this to you and uh, oh, it makes me cry. It was my honor to make it and I know you didn't ask for it, but um, you, have, you had asked me a year ago and so I've been meaning to do it. So I wanted you to know that's my giveaway today. We're going to be doing a lot of giveaways this month and so um, we'll get this in the mail. Shipping department, my mom, she'll be here uh, She'll be here Friday, I think, tomorrow or Friday, and we'll get it in the mail for you. Um, okay, real quick, um, last thing, let's go back and look at, this is a vintage one. So, let me see, how does that hang? Right there. Yeah, you guys, there's so many things you can do with these. I just love them, and it just takes a, um, a wreath form. Oh, gosh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This might be a show in itself, nope. Uh, a wreath form and um, some ornaments. I got mine at Goodwill. And um, look at, I even get lights at Goodwill. This could be Darling all lit up too, but I'm not gonna do that right now. So anyway, I hope you guys have loved everything today. I enjoyed being with you. It's rare that I get to, um, it's rare that I get to just like talk one-on-one -on -one, cause my mom usually does this. So uh, anyway, thank you so much for being here, you guys. Shout out to all of our Jewish friends and your Hanukkah time and anything you can teach us about it. We're, I'm, I'm all ears. I always love learning stuff. So, um, okay, I will be back here tomorrow in writing. So look for our day one message in writing on studio tomorrow. And then Friday, I will be here early, 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 nine o'clock my time. That would be 10, uh, 10 a.m. It's a.m. So 9 a.m. my time, 10 a.m. Central is when I'll be on on Friday and we'll be doing something else. So, all right. I love you guys. Have a great night. And um, I'm looking forward to my date with my new husband. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.